ultrasound guided injection of corticosteroid for the treatment of Decker vein stenosynovitis. Decker vein stenosynovitis is a disorder characterized by pain, tenderness, and swelling caused by impaired gliding of the tendons of the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis muscles. High-risk activities that may aggravate Decker vein's disease include work activities with intense and repetitive movements, such as using mouse and keyboard for a long time, hand writing, and lifting weights. Ultrasonography is the method of choice for the identification of anatomic of the tendons of the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis muscles. Ultrasonography can confirm the suspected Decker vein stenosynovitis. In normal conditions, tendons are free to move within their synovial sheath. The thickening of the extensor retinaculum of the wrist causes a conflict between the tendons and fibrous bone structures. Sagittal ultrasound shows a hypoechoic thickening of the synovial sheath. During Flinkenstein test, a conflict between the tendons and fibrous bone structures causes pain. The steloid process is then identified, and the transducer is positioned over the skin, perpendicular to the forearm's axis, until the aforementioned tendons can be seen on the screen. A metal wire is placed between the transducer and the skin, with its axis perpendicular to the surface of the transducer, until the artifact indicating its position can be localized on screen right above the considered tendon. The transducer is then removed, and the wire profile is marked using a demographic pencil. The transducer is then repositioned over the tendon. Then, after locating the injection site, the gel is removed and the skin is disinfected with an iodine-based solution with a sterile drape. So, the entry point skin is sterile. The needle is placed on the previously marked line perpendicularly to the transducer and it is moved forward until its tip is, vis is visualized within the tendon sheath. Finally, the injection occurs. Here, we prefer to introduce the needle perpendicularly to the transducer. Ultrasonography shows the distribution of corticosteroid in the extensor retinaculum and the reduction of its thickening that improves the movement of the tendons.